Dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts. Your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversations. From margins to center, Luke's Gospel of Inverted Values. The Gospel of Luke is known for its beloved passages, such as the Christmas story and Easter scenes, which many readers find simple and appealing. However, beneath its surface, Luke carries a subversive dimension with a major theme of reversal. The author takes pleasure in, in storytelling where the powerful are marginalized and the marginalized are elevated to the center. In this lecture, we will explore Luke's Gospel in three sections. First, the beginning, focusing on Jesus' birth. Second, the middle, presenting his message. And third, and the end, depicting his death and resurrection. Jesus' birth. Luke's account of Jesus' birth begins in Nazareth, where an angel appears to a young woman named Mary, announcing that she will give birth to Jesus. This moment, known as the Annunciation, is significant because it reveals God's fulfillment of ancient promises to King David, David through a humble peasant. Mary shares this news with her relative Elizabeth in a poetic song that captures the theme of reversal, emphasizing how God uplifts the powerless, the powerless and, bring, and brings down the high and mighty. The Christmas story unfolds with Mary and Joseph's journey to Bethlehem, where they faced hardship and find themselves without proper accommodation. Luke portrays this scene as subversive, showcasing God's action through a temporarily homeless couple rather than through imperial authority. Jesus' Sermon at Nazareth In chapter 4, Jesus begins his public ministry by visiting the synagogue in Nazareth. He reads from the scroll of Isaiah, proclaiming that he is anointed to bring good news to the poor, release the captives, sight to the blind, freedom to the oppressed, and the year of the Lord's favor. Although initially pleasing to the listeners who assume they are the primary recipients of God's favor, Jesus challenges their perspective by extending God's favor to those on the margins. This displacement of privilege leads to hostility and foreshadows the resistance that ultimately le leads to Jesus' death. Parable of the Good Samaritan Luke pres presents the parable of the Good Samaritan in chapter 10 set against the backdrop of ethnic and religious tensions between Jews and Samaritans. Jesus tells this story in response to a question from a Jewish lawyer about inheriting eternal life. The parable revolves around a man who is robbed and left injured by the roadside, while relig religious figures pass him by, a Samaritan, considered an outsider, shows compassion and cares for the wounded man. This parable challenges the perspectives of the listeners, urging them to see the importance of compassion over social status. Parable of the Prodigal Son In chapter 15, Jesus tells the parable of the prodigal son to a gathering of tax collectors, sinners, Pharisees, and scribes. This story highlights the tension between the obedient citizens and those who have gone astray. The parable revolves around a younger son who squanders his inheritance and returns home seeking forgiveness. The father's gracious treatment of the returning son upsets the elder son, exposing his resentment. The parable invites reflection on forgiveness 
restoration, and the need to let go of resentment. Jesus' death. Luke wrestles with the meaning of Jesus' death within the narrative of his life. While the crucifixion may seem like a continuation of the prevailing patterns of power and suffering, Luke brings out the elements of reversal. Jesus' forgiveness of his executioners and his interaction with the two criminals crucified alongside him display a profound contrast. Jesus shares the fate of condemned criminals but offers hope and the promise of life beyond death. Jesus' Resurrection In the final chapter, Luke introduces another instance of reversal through one of Jesus' disciples. Women visit Jesus' tomb and are told that he is not dead. Excuse me. However, when they share this news with the other disciples, they face disbelief. Luke then introduces a new part of the story, where two disciples encounter Jesus on the road to Emmaus. This encounter reveals Jesus' resurrection and further reinforces the theme of reversal. The disbelief of the disciples is transformed into an astonishment and recognition, highlighting the transformative power of Jesus' resurrection and the upside-down nature of the world in Luke's narrative. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series. Unearth stories and symbols in a fresh literary light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. Thank you for joining us in this enlightening journey through Luke's Gospel, where we've uncovered a narrative woven with inversions and profound truth. We've seen the marginalized take center stage, challenging our perceptions and inviting us to embrace a world where compassion, forgiveness, and humility reign supreme. Luke's narrative isn't just a tale from the past, it's a call to action for today, urging us to build communities grounded in this transformative value. As we prepare to dive into our next exploration, Decoding John's Gospel, The Spiritual Significance of the Incarnation, we invite you to continue this journey with us, discover the depth of John's spiritual insights and the profound implications of the word becoming flesh. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to receive notifications for our upcoming sessions. Your engagement, questions, and insights enrich our collective understanding and deepen our appreciation of this timeless narrative. Together, let's continue to unravel the mysteries and wisdom of the Gospel. Until next time, keep reflecting, keep questioning, and embrace the transformative power of this ancient yet ever-relevant text.